Okay, welcome, welcome back to 12 p.m. Link. Today I will be teaching you guys, or at least some of you guys, how to basically mod your Cyberpunk 2077 game. This video is the tutorial on how basically to mod any mod that you want to use into your Cyberpunk 2077, which is I'm gonna show you how to download a mod. Put it in your Cyberpunk 27 and check if it's working. It's quite simple and just keep in mind there are different ways to mod Cyberpunk 27. But I'm gonna teach you this way which is how I use or what I do to mod. So, so first I will be going to my browser which is here here I've already typed in it so you will be typing Nexus what there, there it is Nexus mod you'll be brought to this page you'll be clicking the Nexus mod which is this place and you will be typing in here so you will you, you will be creating an account you, you basically need to create the account right here you see 12 pm link free plan I'm not on the upgrade plan using a basic plan and you can see you just create your account and come back to this page and you will be typing vortex that's right so you should see vortex right here here it is vortex as you type in you vortex ready you click on vortex remember click on vortex where you will see the mod monitor which is vortex yes this is the mod monitor vortex you will basically click file click file click file and you will do a manual download you will be clicking that I already done it so I won't be clicking it but I will click it to show you what the requirements to run in this month. They will sometimes show you files that you basically need to run a certain mod which is the Vortex mod manager you will be clicking download if your PC is already have a net 6.0 plus update and a Windows 10 or above click download you will be brought to this page when you click download right here as I said before, I'm not on the premium plan of of Nexus mods, so I'm on the free one, which is free. You'll be clicking here. It may take a while, but it will be completed as so. So you will click slow download. I already done it, so I won't be doing it. And after that, you'll be installing the mods. When you install the mod, you should have a Nexus mod manager icon right here on your desktop I already, I already moved the icon and put it right here at the bottom of my desktop right here where i keep most of the important files that i use they keep them right here so i'll be clicking it it should be open as just like this it will be open like this then it will bring you to a section that mark games you will be searching for the game which is cyberpunk 27 which i have already done click on it to bring you back to this page you back to this page so as you can see there's no mods in my cyberpunk it's completely clean because i've completely cleaned it just it completely clean so i'll be minimizing our or you can just keep it open if you want if you want but i'll be minimizing mine so i'll be going back to the internet to the internet and i'll be downloading a mod i have already Put a notepad on it i'll be searching for a cyber 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 engine tweak as you can see i will be searching for cyber engine tweak right here let's put it in in the search bar in nexus mod you'll be going back to the internet browser put in cyber engine tweaks right there you should be seeing this on your page once you put cyber engine tweak you'll be seeing this on your page i'll be leaving the link in the description where you can also get it so you can get it quite easy by those space in the link in the top and i press it and you be brought to this page this is a mod that you will be basically needing when playing cyberpunk this is a must have mod so i'm not showing you anything that you don't really need but you really need this mod you can see there have been updates of this mod 2021 
March 2014. So this is what I'm telling you about where they are two way out of mod year Sarah from This is a manual mods in which as you know you download like the vortex mod manager, you download it, extract it and you install it. This is one way out of mods and this is the way that you'll be using once you have gotten your vortex mod manager up and running will be click, clicking on mod manager download so this basically will open your it will be open your vortex mod manager automatically automatically as you can see there's a timer running i click on free you will be receiving a pop of screen like this so always use exos mod manager to open your vortex when you use the download that type of that way of downloading the mod let's click on it automatically bring you to the game that you download you can check on it while it's downloading which is right there checking on it it's so finished is that moving really fast yes and once it is completed you'll be brought to this screen which is the mod side look on the left hand side you see mods which is the mod section of the game you'll be brought to this side of the side of it and I'll be teaching you how to do a second mod, which is a mod that I really, really want you guys to have, which is the no intro. You know, to just basically cut out the intro of what is basically showing that keep the game from basically starting. So you'll be doing the same thing, copy and paste, click enter, it should bring you back to here. There's a little picture of the entertainer Drake on it, and, and this mod is done by DJ Kov, Kovrick. I don't know if I got his name or her name right. Kovrick. The mod by DJ Kovrick. So you be clicking file. You will be. There are options of files that you can choose from, but I normally choose the main file. The files that are the main files. You can download it manual or you can download it with mod manager in the vortex. The next is mod manager to show you that it works. Come on, from three to come up like this. Mod is basically getting installed. You can basically minimize it once be completed. So everything is installed. We'll be clicking on there is a play button up here at the PC server from on the left hand side. You play it should bring up your minimize. As you can see, we are basically in the game for now. Straight in. It will prompt you to create a command, uh, 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 a key binding, a key binding combo by composing from up to four. But I will be composing one thing, which is the, the icon before the one on the keyboard. You can use anything, but I'll be using this icon. And this is it. This is where the fun begins. You got your controls, your binding key where you can set anything you want to be easy on your keyboard. Your settings where you can manipulate the settings of the game. Now oh, we can press start or enter any key. Controls connected as you can see there we are. We are basically in the game. Let's click and continue are basically in the game so to remove the the cyber engine thing you will be pressing the same key that you used to find to open it which is the one that i'm using right now and you can turn it on now these are moving really good it looks really good so that's it thanks for watching